Oh, wow. Dude. Every time we see this game, it looks better. What the hell? Well, look how good it looks. Far out there's so much. I can't even. That's amazing. These people that are making this game are freaking legends. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Matty and I am stylized. Thanks for stopping by to watch my reaction to Night City Wire episode four. Hopefully we get some bangers and some big, big hype. And if you like the video, please like it, drop a comment bit down below on your favorite part of the episode. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Standard intro, let's go. Next up, we have Holly. Welcome to Night oh, City different Wire, hair. Episode four. It's like the show more orangey, if Steve that's a word. Red, where we talk about all things cyberpunk. Different background. Oh, the cyber magazine. We're start today's episode by giving you a look at just some of the vehicles you might procure during procure. your time in Night City, and having a chat to senior vehicle artist Paul, who's going to give us a little bit more information before we take you behind <gasps> the scenes that's like a real car. look at the lengths the teams have gone to to bring vehicles to life. Oh, what? We're also going to have news on an exciting collaboration. Wow. Then we're going to be talking about fashion and styles in Night City before we recap the Ooh, incredibly bit of talented finalists in the Cyberpunk some dress -ups. cosplay contest. We'll then wrap up today's Stadia. Wow. About Stadia. There that's is big. a lot to talk about. So, Stadia. Let's get started. <laughs> okay. Not actually full screen. Dum dum. In a huge open world like Night City, you need a chill ride to get around fast. Yeah, wow. And in Cyberpunk 2077, oh. there are tons of cool vehicles to choose from. Get this. Four liter engine, six cylinder, goes from zero to a hundred. You fucking believe that? Every time we see this game, it gets it looks better. We've crafted every car what the and hell? motorbike with amazing attention to detail. On the chassis, the body, well, look how good it looks. Interiors. You can expect everyone not only to look unique, but to deliver a unique Ah, we're out there experience. so much. I can't even. All right, show me what you got. Bruh. Don't expect advanced tech or luxurious materials here. Nuh uh. Saying it? Oh. Yeah, it's not the size. <laughs> it's a little counts, smart car. I guess. Wow. This class is mostly utility vehicles and low end That's consoles amazing. made for every pocket. Hold on, hold on. Oh, cars is my thing, man. Oh, cars and guns. Wreck. Well, definitely no guy or girl, Mac. Oh. If you need Kiana. to impress, dude, it looks look to so this good. class alone. Futuri futuristic Cadillacs. Either you match it in cash, or you can forget about the fight. Dude. <laughs> With these That's wheels, the ball no stuff. expense has been spared, no frill ignored. Their plush interiors decked out in all the latest tech, while you get to sit back and enjoy the ride. Dude, this is cool. Masterful engineering and practical design. Trucks and tanks for when you need power and brute force. Trucks and Elvish. tanks too. Neat beast, my pride Man. and joy. It's like this set in futuristic Japan. <laughs> Oh, running people over. These are for we love that. Love oh, the now we're talking. And the roar of street Bodra. Powerful engines and exchangeable parts Look at it, man. Come on. I wonder if that's like in the menu. So dope. Whether it's street racing, running from the NCPD, or just showing off in the streets. Oh, with these high oh and it's pink beasts, inside. That's so sick. Only respect. Dude, hell, look how amazing it looks. If you need speed and armor, oh, the hyper class What is this on? Is you. It means precise bodywork, built-in lidar arrays, Surely and really PC. expensive materials. Imagine you're sitting on a pile of... Oh, I love all the... Probably less than a style. thousand people in the world can afford the... Oh, that's a Bentley rip-off Rayfield. Oh, it looks like a Bentley. <laughs> they will take you places you never dreamed Dude. you'd go. Dude. Oh, 
and original vehicles are not all you'll find in 2077. We also found room on our roster for some true automotive icons. Floor it, V. Automotive bike. Oh, the Porsches are actually in it. <gasps> the Porsches are actually in it. That was that was a Porsche, and they well, teased thank it. Thank you so much for joining on Twitter. Us. I think it's fair to say we've come a really long way from Roach and the Witcher, so that there's a lot to talk about. Dude, that's sick. Yep. There's a lot to talk about. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> well, let's start with the like various classes of different cars, because in the video we saw there were things like economy and luxury vehicles. But can you tell us a bit more about their kind of design philosophy? Like what does each kind of class offer when people are driving them around Night City? Man. Absolutely. Uh, depending on uh, the width of those tires, the man, they're going to be like 20 inch tires. Uh, either buying or stealing, depending on your flavor. Uh, yeah, you'll notice that they don't just look different. Uh, but they'll also drive different and feel different. If you're buying or stealing, uh, stealing. a nice fancy looking sports color version of a car, you'll notice that it drives you know, faster, sounds a little bit more punchy and sporty than, for example, a junkier version of that same car. That's cool. You know, it can have solar panels tied to the roof <laughs> or some other pipes Happy that Nomad are spec. hot wiring, some other you know, cyberpunk components in your car. And uh, well, you know, if it looks cheap, it probably drives cheap. <laughs> there you go. So it seems that not only did the That's cars cool. it's like realism. Uh, look good on the outside, but there's an awful lot it. of detail on the inside as well. Things like the dashboard. So can you tell us more about that? Mm. Because I know if you find a Quadra Type 66 in the city, it's going to look totally different from the Quadra Type 66 which is so, that the gangs are driving out in the, the Badlands, yeah, both which is outside so dope. and inside. Yep, definitely. If you were about to steal a very nice high-end car, for example, uh, when you get in, you'll see the dashboard Check light up it. nicely. You'll see your dial indicators revving a little bit, Sick. but that may not exist for a job. Oh, look at all that! You have the dashboard ripped out completely. No matter Crocodile what your skin is, on the you'll, dash, you'll find something that suits your needs. That's so, so what dope. What about racing then? Will there be racing? Because I know people have been asking. Oh, racing! Yes, we're absolutely going for to sleep, have bro. several races in the game. Different locations, if you know you're going to be driving in the Badlands. Maybe bring a Nomad car, because it's just built to driving in the Badlands. Mm. But if you know you're going to be racing in Night City, just bring the hottest wheels you've got, because you're going to need all the power you can get. No Looks matter like where some you're racing, futuristic though, shit. you need to bring a gun, because this is Night City, wow. you never know what's going to happen. Futuristic shit straight out of the, okay, like, so from the 80s, though. Like, it's, Let's talk about, seems like, really stealing extrapolated stealing from cars, that era. we know people can steal them. But what if somebody's found a car and they absolutely love this particular one? Is there a way for players to kind of build that collection? And then how Please. do they actually, you know, summon them? Huh. Well, like uh, summoning cars works pretty much the same as you would summon Roach huh. in The Witcher 3. Your transportation may or may not show up on a route somewhere. <laughs> uh, but, That'd you know, be so we're good. on fixing some bugs here and there. But yeah, if there's a car that you really, really like very much, if you can't wait to own a quadra... I don't any like smearing effect thing. You'll get a message from your fixer and says, hey, Got a Quadra for sale for you. You want to buy it? All you have so to do dope. is drive over. I love that they went you've got your flat out with the cars. Not to mention that every single vehicle that you buy, every single player vehicle is absolutely unique in every way. It's got a unique interior, unique exterior, paint job. Um, you know, so you don't even need to do them up because they're all so dope. So in the video, we did That's mention so cool, there man. was space for a true automotive icon. Uh, do you want to reveal uh, what that actually is? Porsche 911. Uh, the car in question here is uh, Johnny Silverhand's car. And Johnny Silverhand. Check it. Is, well, he's a big rocker boy. Is that from the early 90s? To match. So we gave him a 911 Porsche from 1977. 70, oh, 77. Which means Shit. In 2077, Johnny's car is going to be exactly 100 years old. That's so Paul, sick. Thank you so much for your time today. Personally, I think I'm going to try That's and mad. being a super cool badass mercenary and driving a Mai Mai because I love that little car. I think I could do it. Right? I could be cool <laughs> Upstairs and, and in a Mai Mai. So cool. Definitely. Mai Mai is absolutely cool <laughs> as long as you stay on the road and not on the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll try my very best. We'll see. In past episodes, we've said that music plays yes, a huge it does. part in bringing Night City to life. Yes. But it's not just music. Our teams went to incredible lengths to recreate and capture the sounds that really bring these vehicles oh, to cool, life. Oh, cool, cool, cool. I mean, they might have had some fun driving them, huh. but show us. I'm pretty sure that's just show, a show, show, show us. Oh, man, this is dope. Imagine this was your job. Holy shit, bro. Yeah, Porsche. Oh man. So
so cool. Behind the scenes ripping up Night City. That's so sick. We Look at this thing. I love it. And then we wanted to like Quadra is where it's at, man. A proper sound to the visual so that you have like a nice Stop. feeling or a nice vibe of uh, the the complete car. And then uh, we moved on to uh, organizing the whole thing. Early on, so uh, we made the decision that we are going to record on the race tracks and then we are going to record cars in movement. We started cooperation with Tomek Chopi, who is like very very well known uh, racing driver in Poland. That's Really a nice sensation when you look at him, he's frothing. Driver, the guy in the camera's like, the car to the limit. <laughs> like, you can feel the the G's with the braking and uh, tight cornering, and you can feel the car actually like bending the laws of physics. We wanted to record a broad spectrum of cars, so we started with the that's like a 1J and man or a 2J, and then we went to a more screaming, massive uh, turbo sixes inline sixes and then we went to v10s we wanted to grab the off-road cars we of course uh, grabbed some uh, drift cars just to have the more aggressive character in the cars ah, da, 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 da. <laughs> oh that sounds tough we had to assemble a sound group or a sound team that would make the placing of the mics process very, very fast because we had the plenty of cars to do in a short time span. Yeah, man. We had the team of mechanics from... Even getting uh, those cars out would cost so much they money. helped us immensely. What they've Far done out. is allowed us to put the microphones into places that we wouldn't be able to access uh, differently. I'm Putting so the jealous. Right into the car. They helped us in the airbox places that are best. Usually, place sucking all that O2. Three microphones uh, in the exhaust and two microphones in the car. Cars are very, very complex in terms of sound, and uh, it's very man. Difficult that is how you do it. Ain't no vacuum cleaners in this game. Uh, that you have to have to make it sound believable. Like Gran Turismo, we eat your heart out. Something that would give Far us the out. of the engine. We're going all out with everything, man. This is so sick. We wanted to use normal Dope. organic uh, electric engine that you could actually have in the nowadays car. We didn't want the engines to be futuristic sci-fi-ish sounding. We want them much more organic, I don't even know what much that more is. down to earth, something that would that represent the combustion engine. And on top of that, we added Dude, the data are like sick. Stitching. Or like a futuristic UI of a car. Some it next level gull wing, like man. You are in a car of a future and some car might talk to you, other car might have blips and bobs that will make you feel like you're in a futuristic vehicle. Dude, that crocodile skin is so dope. <laughs> We wanted to be uh, very, very close to what Mike uh, set up in the lore. And uh, early on, we decided to record uh, Johnny's uh, original Johnny's car, car man. Which is, uh, Porsche 911 930 from 1977. Dude. We recorded on dyno in control environment in a, in a chamber. We could put Mike in very different places. Porsche 930 that we recorded is the only car really that will be really sounding like the real car mm. in the real world. On a dyno and they're just revving it. That's so sick. Cool, man. Oh, the windows are gagging me. We recorded more than 40 vehicles. Not often do we record so many vehicles for hey, I got one of those mics right here. Racing game. Truth being told, this was the hardest part in, uh, in my sound career, and I'm very, very proud of uh, what we achieved with the sound team. This was something that we didn't do before. So creating the designs, uh, creating the technology Dude, behind the, the car the modeling game, is that's the best thing actually dope. I ever did in my sound career. Oh, I can't wait to play it even more now. I have my monitors set up, and it's just gonna, oh. bruh. There has been a lot of talk about cars so far. Yes. So let's take a Keep look going, at I don't mind. another collaboration. This time with Johnny Silverhand. Um, <laughs> I mean Keanu. Oh, Bay. Smell. Oh, he's. <laughs> How did Keanu not Travel. love this guy? Journey. Froth's a good bike. Freedom. No, you know it's not like <laughs> deeper. If <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna marry a dude, it'd be KR, man. I'm telling ya, dude's a legend. I'm Guard Hollinger. I'm Keanu Reeves. 
And we're here as uh, representatives of Arch Motorcycle, and we're doing some audio recording for Cyberpunk 2077. Cool. Arch Motorcycle is a custom production motorcycle company. Uh, what's unique about it is that the motorcycles are built on a production platform but each one is designed to be able to be personalized uh, for each other. Check customer. this thing out. Far out, Bustle Sprout. Wow. When uh, CD Projekt Red approached me about doing Cyberpunk 2077, they also spoke about integrating, they were fans of, uh, or I guess people who worked at the company were fans of uh, Arch Motorcycle. Hmm. And so they broached the idea of creating kind Dude. of specialized Cyberpunk 2077 version what? of the Arch Motorcycle. And I thought that was a very fine idea. <laughs> I thought that was a very... <laughs> what a guy. Dude, that thing is we sick. We have a motorcycle we've, we've Cafe designed on we've been developing called the Method 143. And so that, I think, in particular oh. was... was um, a creative inspiration wow. for the designers, so they sort of use that as a basis and then went further. So it has a totally different. How have I never seen one of these? V hey, twin. We did all the customers. It's good. I like. Dude, it. that mic on there is dope. Today we're uh, capturing sounds, getting some actual sounds of a power plant, and drivetrain, and characteristics of the motorcycle, which I'm sure they will. We'll get the airbox uh, off, man. Play with and stuff, but the source will be pure. <laughs> just like your heart, KO. KR, just like your heart. It has a sort of a racing engine in it compared to our production motorcycles. It has a, a dual exhaust system. Yeah, buddy. And it sounds pretty... <laughs> <laughs> angry. It sounds good. It's angry. Now, you could definitely blindfold to tell that... That's the oh man, that is dope. The motorcycle, yeah. Oh my god, this game, man. Oh, how the hype, man. See, that leaning in stuff looks like realistic. I like that. This is why he's hunched over in that. The nature of the role playing aspect of the game. I think it'll be cool like, to be on a bike and hearing that going. City streets. Those sounds are mad. Getting into the madness of mayhem. Froth. As with all episodes of Night City Wire, now what, if you're now tuning what, now in late, or if you just want to watch anything again, we will be uploading everything to our channels soon. Now it's time to talk about styles in Night City. That's me. Are you more kitsch or neo militarism? No, that's not me. Let's go! 2077 in style. I like it. Welcome to the brief authoritative history of Night City. This chapter is devoted to so called styles. So called styles. Deeply linked with the history oh, of the character world creator. And a very important aspect oh. of life in the city. You can find them everywhere <laughs> in cars. Dude, clothes, the cars. Guns. Oh, the guns. Implants. They are your war paint. As one of our sponsors says, it matters not if you're dead, as long as you're doing it in style. See, this voiceover is dope. The moves on this girl. Swoosh, swoosh. Slicing them up like sashimi. <laughs> Four visual styles are evident in the Night City of 2077, each with its own history, status, and features. Man, it's... Neon hair, illuminated tattoos, and chrome. Function comes second. Hmm. Looks are what matter. I like the sound of that. That's very Maddie spec. Can't wait for dress ups, man. Dying for dress ups. Cool tune. I can dig it. Stanley here with you, and we got Neon's gonna have a field day, man. The fourth corporate war broke out, and entropism was born. Vast and deep crises forced people to find ways to survive by any means. Getting the job done, no matter how, was the primary goal. What is that goal. singlet? The look? Who cares? <laughs> I love 
this town. Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once. Yeah, well. Now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her. Well. Fuck them. <laughs> fuck this job. Fuck this city. Yeah, that don't look very nice. Deadly elegance without Do you love this neo-militarism, man? Corporate militaristic fashion. Very, very mostly dope. seen in the wealthier parts of town. Substance over style. That's the model. Gonna need multiple characters in this game. Have to. Multiple dress ups. <laughs> we like to fuck. And we like pain. And we like pain. <laughs> Celebrities. Brain dance stars. Man, this is dope. Heirs to corporate fortunes and corporate executives. They abandoned the cold, deadly elegance of neo militarism and returned to the roots of kitsch, but gave it a fresh new look. See, same oh, thing, you just wonder if this voiceover is so just for these like ads. Yeah, wow. Well. Lizzie. Lizzie. Man, there's gonna be so many clothes in this game. Thank you for your attention. Sick. We wish you a very pleasant stay in our marvelous metropolis. Ah. Good luck and goodbye. Ciao. NC's legends. Know where you'll find most of them? Are we? The graveyard. Luckily, matters not where you're from. Dude, that looks so sick. Slow mo. Oh, wow. Well. What matters here is the walk you walk. Frothing this footage, man. That was cool. Their graphic design is just... Mm. Just before this episode started, you might have tuned you in need a better and webcam, our Holly. cyberpunk cosplay contest finale. But just in case you've missed it, we've prepared a little summary for you featuring our very talented finalists. Oh yeah, in this is going to be dope too. Cosplay contest. We asked our very Forgot talented all about this. <laughs> community to cosplay a character from the game based on the art, screenshots, videos, cosplay guides, etc. We thought regular trophies weren't quite cool enough, hmm. so we decided that the top 3 will receive detailed oh. props based on weapons from the game. Dude. They have been specifically made for this occasion and the winners can do with them as they please. Wow, that is and so now, cool. The 12 best cyberpunk cosplayers. Man, these people who are competed just competed for first place in the first official Cyberpunk 2077 cosplay contest. Are you ready to meet them? Yes. Yes, I am. Show me the cosplayers. These people are freaking legends, man. The effort. Oh, they made like a little... Sick. Dude. <laughs> that is just some next level. Sick video. Tune could be a little bit more hectic, but that's cool. It's all about the people. You can dig it. Now, before we wrap up today's episode, there mm, is we one have to more wrap it up for. Previously, oh, we Stadia. announced that Cyberpunk 2077 was coming to Stadia. Yeah. And today, we can tell you that it is arriving on November 19th alongside other platforms. And pre-orders are starting now. Seriously thought that shit was Night dead, City man. They're over, trying to revive it with Cyberpunk. More, then stay tuned right here on the Twitch channel and join us for Would love to game. know how many pre-orders they As get. Always, don't forget that if you've missed anything or if you just want to watch again, I'll be watching again. We'll be uploading everything to our channels shortly and we'll be back with Night City Wire episode 5. Episode 5? Soon. No, actually, Soon? Uh, there uh, is one more thing we're going to show you. Give it to me. Welcome to the diner. Ooh, the... What is this? So what do you want? CGI trailer. Supercar. Big house. 
You want to rule this city? Oh. Well, you ain't getting anywhere without an upgrade. You need a softer touch. Stronger this is spine. even better than Just last one. Night city. Ain't gonna be easy. Oh, here's the shot. Neon called it. You demand Neon. Cyberpunk 2077. Available November oh, 19th. Give me more. Come on. Uh, come on. Uh, oh. The end of that was so dope. Oh. They always finish on a high, man. Is that it? Is that all you got for me, baby? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Cars. Motorbikes, new tunes, fashion. What else? Like cars, fashion, like, come on, load, man, what are you doing? That little red car, oh my god. <laughs> uh, and all, there's like multiple versions of the same car from like different uh, places, like, you know, Badlands and City and stuff, and. They are just so dope. That behind-the-scenes video of recording the sound, man, they are going full-on with all the foley and the sound in this game is just bananas. These people that are making this game are freaking legends. I enjoyed that one. I enjoyed it because I like cars, because I love motorbikes, and I love dress-ups in video games. Um, that was dope. That went way too fast. I, I don't... Yeah, no, they definitely... Last time I showed up showed off a lot of stuff about like the city and that, but this time all the cars and that, and we got extra shots of things. And man, just finishing off with that CGI trailer. What did you like? Um, talk to me, please talk to me. Please like the video. Please share the video. Just um, man, oh, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed the cars and stuff. Um, that is me done for this video. Uh, please like, share, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. I would absolutely love it and appreciate it if you did. Um, I don't seem to be getting anywhere with this channel. I don't upload enough, but I really enjoy making these videos, and I love that you watch them. If you're watching, if you're still watching this, you are a true champion. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video. I might do a review of this, but uh, we'll find out. There is episode five. Uh, peace.